we may um, have a few times to chat during the course of the presentation. Otherwise, um, we will talk at the end. So be sure that you are writing down any questions that you might have as we are going through this evening. So thank you all for joining us tonight. Um, welcome to our Essential Oils 101 class. I'm so excited to have you here with us tonight. My name is Wendy Clayton, and I've been using Young Living since 2013. This is a power-packed, fun, educational training time to show you all things oils and all things Young Living. Please be sure to fill out that contact me form as we kick this off so that we can customize our training tonight directly to your needs and cover any questions that you might have. We're gonna cover about 150 years of aromatherapy in a very small space. So don't be overwhelmed. Um, after the class, I can send you a link for this video uh, so you can go back over it again and additional information. Be sure to go ahead if you can, have some paper and pencil available just to write down notes or use the note app on your phone, whatever works for you. That way, if you have anything um, that you want to make sure that we cover at the end, I can do that. You can also post questions in the chat box as we go through, and uh, Todd will kind of help monitor those uh, questions while I'm talking, and then we can cover anything at the end that I didn't cover in the presentation. So um, the other reason I have everybody do that form every time, it helps me kind of keep track of who's attended, and I am keeping track for those who attend all four of our core classes, our 101, our 102, our 103, and our 104 classes, and those who complete the series will receive a certificate and a special gift. And um, so that is one reason I'm doing that also. Also just so I can send you follow-up information after the class. Sometimes we talk about uh, resources and I have extra files that go with the information I present. So I'd like to be able to share that with you all. So let's go ahead and get started. So our family has been using Young Living products since 2013. I want to just share a few things about how we got started and a couple of our aha moments. First, I'd already been looking at natural options to help our family's overall health, um, as well as to hopefully deal with some of the health challenges our family was facing, especially, especially dealing with allergies and asthma related issues in several family members. I first learned about Young Living about five years before I became a member. I don't recommend waiting that long <laughs> to sign up and start using the products. I tried other products, made my own herbal concoctions, tinctures, and many other things. After trying several other essential oil companies' oils and doing over a year of specific research on Young Living itself, the company, the products, and how they do things, I contacted my friend and said I wanted to sign up. I dove right in and purchased the premium starter kit with essential oils, as well as the thief starter kit all at one time. I was so glad that I did. You'll see why as we go through this presentation. One key change for me was finding some oils that really were able to help me deal with my year-round itchy eyes, stuffy nose, sneezing, and breathing challenges. I had tried some other companies, Lavender in particular, and they just didn't do what the research said that they should do. When I received my starter kit and tried out the Young Living Lavender, I was amazed. The smell was different and it didn't give me a headache. Almost every type of lavender scented products I had come across previously gave me a headache. Um, instead, it smelled like a fresh plant and not a fake flower scent. It was concentrated and just a small amount used daily began to make changes in my body's ability to deal with my year round allergies to such a degree that I was able to stop taking my allergy medications completely and support my immune system and wellness through using the essential oils, um, our lifestyle and some other Young Living products. It's been an ongoing process to find what works best to support um, my overall wellness and that of my family. We are always learning but have made great strides in many areas already. So what are essential oils? They are the most powerful part of the plant. They are distilled from shrubs, flowers, trees, roots, bushes, fruit, rinds, resin, and herbs. The oils consist of hundreds of different natural organic compounds. In humans, they provide support for every system in the body, your skeletal system, muscular system, circulatory system, 
endocrine system, hormones, respiratory system, and immune system. They support brain health and a healthy weight. They are used extensively for spiritual support in your prayer life as well as emotional support. They have been used for thousands of years as beauty aids. An oil in a diffuser can soothe a child's tough day at school and provide a calming effect when you've had a stressful day at work. Oils can be used as an alternative to cleaning chemicals in the home. Oils, um, <clears throat> you can literally start swapping out every single chemical in your home to live a pure lifestyle and you can do it without breaking the bank. So the kit we're gonna be training on today is a Young Living Premium Starter Kit. It's a $412 bundle that's steeply discounted to $165. It's the only thing on Young Living's site that is over half off. It comes with 12 full-size bottles of oil and a desert mist diffuser with 11 different colored light settings, including a candle setting. This one kit contains respiratory oils, pain oils, immune support oils, stress oils, emotional oils, digestive oils, oils for alertness, and oils for fear, as well as internal aromatic and topical oils. And our powerhouse product of Ninja, a whole food liquid supplement loaded with antioxidants. We'll do a Ninja 103 training class again later in a few weeks. It also contains Thieves, the most affordable oil-infused plant-based cleaning line on the, product, on the planet. I love this kit because it gives you a whirlwind sample of some of the best products that we have. So let's jump right in. So how do you use oils? You don't need to be an aromatherapist to use them. In most cases, just rubbing them topically on your skin will work. There are three main ways to get oils into your system. The English apply it topically, which is rubbing it on your skin. The French ingest and cook with it. And the Germans diffuse and inhale. So how do they enter and how long do they last? Tests have shown that oils reach the heart, liver, and thyroid within three seconds when inhaled. They were found in the bloodstream within 26 seconds when applied topically. Expulsion of essential oils takes three to six hours in a normal, healthy body. So a little bit of history to share with you. Oils were first mentioned by name in the biblical book of Genesis, chapter 37, when Joseph was sold to the slave traders. They carried spicery, balm, and myrrh. Genesis ends with the burial of Joseph's father anointed with myrrh. There are over 1,100 direct and indirect mentions of essential oils in scripture. Some of the oldest cultures on earth used essential oils. The Babylonians used cedarwood, myrrh, and cypress. The Egyptians used essential oils for beauty and embalming. They had the oldest recorded deodorant recipe made with essential oils. Pakistan and Rome used essential oils in communal bathhouses. They were even used by Christ. Jesus was given gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Frankincense was sometimes referred to as the coconut oil of essential oils because it has over 10,000 uses. Essential oils were used by the medieval Europeans. It was only after World War II when oils were kind of rediscovered that the science on their, um, and began to be used regularly. And then the science on their use grows with every single year. So I used to buy some lavender online. Um, I tried some from other places like farmer market, or you can also buy them at bulk food stores. In the United States, there is no rating system for essential oils. It would be wonderful if there were, because then you'd know what you were buying. If you walk into a grocery store and look at a box of cereal, you'll see nutrition facts on the side. There are no nutrition facts on the sides of oils. That means you have to trust the source you have to know the company that you are purchasing from. So what sets Young Living apart? One thing is their seed to seal. So we're gonna watch a little video that kind of gives an overview of the company and shows some of the farms and the way Young Living works. And then we're gonna talk about seed to seal.
Okay, so one thing that sets Young Living apart from all other oil companies is our seed to seal promise. So let me break down what seed to seal actually means. At Young Living, we do not strip constituents to make our oil smell better. We do not mix species of the same oil. We do not spray weed killers or pesticides or herbicides or use genetically modified seeds. We spend $12,000 per acre to hand weed lavender instead of the industry standard of $60 per acre for the same plant. The industry standard is $60 per acre because spraying with pesticides is much cheaper than hand weeding. We do not distill with solvents like hexane. Our soil is not tainted with mercury, arsenic, glyphosate, or any poison because our fields are untouched by toxic chemicals. We harvest at the exact time of the day that Young Living's research team has found to be the ideal time for that specific plant. We know when that peak is because of our extensive library on oils, the oldest and largest globally, compiled from nearly 30 years of research at farms on six continents. Gary Young grew Helichrysum essential oil at St. Marie's in Idaho, then Mona in Utah, and then the Mediterranean country of Croatia to watch its scores on our seed to seal testing. We don't know if we don't know it we don't know where it grows best natively. We grow it where it grows best and produces the most effective oil for the body. Our farms are all over the world and you can visit them yourself. Any of our farms, if you like because we are transparent. And visiting the farms is an amazing experience. I've actually been to three of the farms that are in the United States and have a goal to be able to visit all of the other farms around the world. We test eight times at the farm, then again at Spanish Fork, Utah, and then again after bottling. We do 24 tests per batch to make sure that the oils meet our standards. Then we do third-party testing with two accredited, respected, independent labs. Young Living's oils are tested by scientists with over 180 years of combined lab experience. Most of the scientists were hand-trained by founder Gary Young himself. Young Living is a global leader in essential oils with nearly $2 billion in sales annually. That means that those that use the oils keep returning because they work. There are 3,000 global employees, 600 life-changing products, 16 corporate and partner farms, more than 20 international markets, 50 highly trained scientists, 12 independent partner labs, and 6 million global members. Those that use the oils keep coming back because they work. So to say that Young Living is the same as a generic off-brand or brand at the grocery store makes no sense. They are two completely different products. Why use an oil to get away from toxic chemicals and then you end up using an oil laden with those same chemicals. You cannot have quality without cost. The two go hand in hand. Irradiated, mechanically separated rib meat is not the same as pastured, grass-fed organic beef. You get what you pay for. We understand that in every other industry except aromatherapy. A third-party lab test doesn't make an oil pure. Saying your oils are better does not make them pure. Integrity, hard work, and high standards do. That is seed to seal, and that is why Young Living is different. It's our promise of purity, and you can learn more about seed to seal at seedtoseal.com. All of our oil is shipped from around the world to Spanish Fork, Utah, where it's run through vigorous eight-point testing to ensure purity. Those tests are run in triplicate at the farm at Spanish Fork and a third time before bottling. So what does that mean? The testing is thorough and precise. It's why I don't buy from a mom and pop oil shop. They don't have a team that's necessary to stay on top of hundreds of oils and blends. And they don't have seed to seal. And you can visit all of our farms, which is amazing. So why can't you just buy oils at the grocery store? Purity, you get what you pay for. I have seen bottles of frankincense for $7 at the grocery store, but it costs more than that just to distill the frankincense. It's a red flag that the oil has been altered in some form. This is a photo of our frankincense resin being distilled at the proper temperature for days to pull the best oil out of the plant. The labor to distill this plant is one of the reasons that it's so costly. The only way to sell it for $10 or $12 would be to adulterate the oil 
or you would make no profit selling it at cost. So the frankincense tree must be tapped like a maple syrup tree. The resin will ooze out, but quickly turns into the hard resin you see in the bottom, um, in that picture there on the screen. <clears throat> it's a long process to turn it into the oil that you see in the frankincense bottle. Or you can distill with solvents, many of which cause cancer, and you can have oil much more quickly and at a lower labor cost. But then you have solvents in your oil. Young Living does not use chemical solvents to extract frankincense. That's what Seed to Steel is all about. We do think the hard way to get you the best oil. Okay, all of the oils in the world fall into four categories, authentic, manipulated, perfume, and synthetic. Authentic means that oils are 100% pure with no added synthetics and no additives in the bottle. These are like Young Living oils. Manipulated means the final product has been made to smell more pleasing and less earthy. Some of the heavier molecules have been stripped out or another additive has been introduced to enhance the aroma. And then perfume oils. Perfume oils are not pure. They are mixed with synthetics to enhance the aroma. These oils have no therapeutic action. Frequently, solvents are used to extract the plant. And then synthetics. Synthetic oils are not true oils at all. They smell nothing like the original plant and are typically labeled as scented products. Authentic is the only true pure oil. Synthetic oils would be like opening your fridge, taking a glass of orange juice and diluting it by 95% with chemicals before you drink it. It wouldn't have the same benefits of a full glass of pure orange juice. That's why you want authentic oils. Before you purchase, check to see if the company grows their own plants, has a seed to steel promise, and controls the entire process from the farm to the sealed bottle. Pesticides, pollution, previously farmed land, all of that can affect the quality of the oil that you get at the end. So why go the extra step of using an oil to get away from those toxic chemicals and then decide to use an oil that has those same chemicals in them? That makes no sense at all. Okay, so what is the impact of spraying pesticides? I want you to see the impact of what spraying a crop with pesticides can do to the human body. There was a study in Sweden that was cataloged in a video called The Organic Effect. This is pertaining to food. However, when it takes tens of thousands of rose blossoms to make an ounce of rose oil, the oils are even more concentrated than food. So a pesticide sprayed on a crop of that's gonna be made into essential oils <clears throat> will be even more concentrated than on the food like it would be compared to being on an apple skin. That is why we do not spray. So let's watch this video and see how, what that effect can be like. Most of what is grown today is treated with pesticides. That's not so healthy for the environment, but does it really affect us? Meet the Palmberg family. They don't eat organic food. But for the next two weeks, the Palmbergs are going to eat only organic. Before they begin, urine samples are taken from each of the family members. And it turns out they have a number of different pesticides inside their bodies. We hittade framförallt insektsmedel, svampmedel och stråförkortningsmedel. Vi äter insektsmedel. Ja, äckligt. Ja. So, everything in the kitchen is replaced, and they begin eating only organic. Then, another round of samples are taken, and now, almost all the pesticides have disappeared. We know very little about the long-term of eating the food that has been sprouted. Speciellt med tanke på att studier har visat att kemikalier i kombination kan vara långt farligare än kemikalier var och en för sig. När man får höra det här så tänker man framförallt på barnen. Det är många kemikalier som har lämnat deras kroppar och jag vill inte ha tillbaka dem i mina barn.
Okay, so Young Living seed to seal process is a promise of integrity. The plants are harvested at their peak, put through the vigorous seed to seal testing process, and they go from the farm directly to your home. Seed to seal is not a slogan, it's a promise. Okay, so most essential oils are sold cheaper than others because companies cut corners to save money. If you spray a crop with a pesticide, you have more crop to distill. If you use a chemical solvent to extract the oil, you pull more out. If you dilute it with a cheaper oil or a carrier oil, you stretch the oil you have distilled and you can easily sell it more cheaply. So it takes a great deal of work to produce a tiny amount of essential oil. 60,000 rose blossoms provide only one ounce of rose oil. Lavender is a little more abundant. 200 pounds will provide seven pounds of oil. Jasmine flowers must be picked by hand before the sun becomes hot on the very first day that they open, making it one of the most expensive oils in the world. It takes eight million hand-picked blossoms to produce 2.2 pounds of oil. A sandalwood tree must be 30 years old and 30 years high before it can be cut down for distillation. Gary Young's sandalwood trees must be 90% dead before they are harvested. So they're not going to um, harvest it before it's at that point in addition to being 30 years old and 30 feet high. A little goes a long way. Most oils are 10 to $30 per bottle. Depending on oil thickness or viscosity, a five milliliter bottle contains about 90 to 100 drops of oil and a 15 milliliter bottle contains about 200 to 240 drops of oil. Each application is one to three drops, meaning even a small bottle will get you 45 to 90 applications. These cleaner is made of plants only and costs about $1.50 a bottle to make. You can't even get that in the organic section of the grocery store. It replaces multi-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner, and floor cleaner. The organic versions of those can run you four to six dollars a bottle or more. <laughs> thieves cleaner and thieves hand sanitizer. Um, actually, it's thieves. I think you actually get um, yeah, the hand sanitizer and um, breath mints is what it is. They changed that out. But if you want to sample the thieves cleaner, we can get you a sample. Okay, so there's an entire thieves class I'd like to teach you on the power of these, this oil blend, which comes in your starter kit. It's our second class of our core four series of free aromatherapy training that our team offers. We'd love to ha come alongside you and trade you in simple, easy steps. I'll give you a little tease of the power of thieves in a couple of slides. Our next thieves class is coming up soon, but I have a recording to share if you'd like to watch it sooner or we can set up an online class just for you and your friends on a date that works for you. For today, I recommend you start with a starter kit and add on the Thieves Essential Rewards bundle. In one swoop, you can affordably replace just about every chemical cleaner in your cabinet. So just a real quick um, note here, Essential Rewards is a program that pays you back 10% immediately on everyday products that you use already, toothpaste, shampoo, and dish soap, and six hundred other products. After four months, you get 20% back, and after 25 months, 25% back. Imagine walking into the grocery store to buy cleaning supplies and personal care items, and every single trip on every single purchase, you get 25% off your whole cart. That's what happens when you order on Essential Rewards. That is in addition to the 24% off retail that you're getting when you start with a starter kit. That discount is for life. You are never obligated to order and there are no yearly membership fees. Just deeply discounted oils and oil infused products that are the purest in the world. If those two perks aren't incredible, there's more. When you order from yourself instead of at the grocery store, you also earn points back and free oils for certain um, tiers, depending on how much you order. And we have tons of free stuff that we just got in the mail. We just got, I think, six, full-size bottles of oil free six or seven plus um, two things that are still on their way here so great freebies depending on how much you order um, and then these the new uh, pre promos which I'll show later later on are only available they change each month so you get 
new items as freebies every month. Um, and this is how I got, I get the most of my oil, got, uh, get a lot of our oils for free by buying from myself and going toxin free. Not only that, but your starter kit today counts towards your first ER order. That's $100 earned towards ER freebies. If you check out, that kit can never again count towards your essential rewards. You can't go back and add it later. That's why I recommend you do essential rewards at checkout because it's how I can save you the most money. How much? You can look at this chart here. This is what you save every single month by placing orders on essential rewards reg um, instead of on the regular one time order button or shop button. Over five years at 300 PV, that's $16,000, $16,050 in savings. It's amazing. Um, I love being able just to purchase products for my own family and receive lots of free things and a great savings on that. And that's just for ordering for our own family. Um, and here's just a sample. This is April's promotional products. And these are the things we got all of these. Actually, everything in this picture we're getting free um, this month. The couple of things are on back order, so they'll be shipping them out later. Um, we did big orders this month. We don't always do huge orders, but we did this month. So it's exciting to get all of these products, especially when they're, many of them are things that we use all the time. And sometimes others are ones that we haven't yet tried out and we love to be able to try new things out. Okay, so my favorite essential rewards bundle is the Thieves Bundle. So let's take 60 seconds and look at the power of Thieves. This pan has been through 11 dishwasher loads and a full scrubbing with steel wool, but there are still soot marks burned into the metal. Let's see what thieves and a little baking soda can do together. All right, guys. So we're trying a little experiment here because we just had a wow moment with lemon oil um, getting all the grease off of the bottom of a pan. And this pan is particularly difficult. Like this has been through multiple dishwasher loads, been scrubbed multiple times. My sister loves to deep fry stuff with coconut oil. So it's like not not coming off. I mean, we do you have a scrubby rate check it show? Yeah. I, we're just going to scrub it and show you that it's it's not going anywhere. Like this has been through multiple. It's one of those things where you scrub as hard as you can. It's not going anywhere, right? So we grabbed some baking soda. It's pure baking soda and thieves. And we're not going to use all the thieves, but we'll pour a little bit of each in. And yep, just like a little sprinkle. We'll put a little bit of um, thieves cleaner in there. See if we can make some headway on this pan that's been through the dishwasher so many times. So if it's something that I just cooked, I put a couple of drops of lemon, and lemon just makes that pan amazing. If it's something that has been there for a while, you can't get it up, this is my go-to. Rachel put even more and she wants a nice good piece. Yep. Now we're going to take it over to the sink, do a good rinse on it, and so now I'm following the pan. Let's see after multiple dishwasher loads and soap and all the other good things with this really nasty non scrubbable pan looks like. I'll show you in five, four, three, two, bam! Fuse cleaner to the rescue. Okay, and on, um, if y'all haven't tried that yet, it's really works really well. We have um, been doing that a lot recently, depending on what people have been cooking in our pots and pans. Some of it gets harder to clean off than others, and it works really well. Okay, so let's get back to, into the final bit of our 101 class. We're almost at the end of our aromatherapy hangout time today. I really hope that you've enjoyed all the science and knowledge and testimonies. We're going to talk safety and then you get to experience the oils for yourself. Well, at least virtually. Unfortunately, I can't let you smell the oils through the video. Someday, maybe we'll be able to do that. Many people ask me if oils are so powerful, are they safe? 
There are certain oils that cause photosensitivity, meaning you don't want to wear them on your skin and go outside. These are mostly citrus oils like citrus fresh, lemon, etc. When using them on your skin, always watch for redness and dilute with a carrier oil. You want to dilute oils that you're using on children because their skin is more permeable and absorbs the oils more quickly. So what is a carrier oil? A carrier oil is a fatty oil like olive oil or coconut oil that you might find in your kitchen. Its molecules are much larger than those of essential oils. And so using that carrier oil helps uh, with the, your essential oil helps to slow down the rate the body can absorb the essential oil because it must ping pong through the large molecules of the carrier oil to get into your skin. And that is what helps reduce kind of, it can be the, the super cooling feeling or the burning feeling or just to make it a little safer to use with kids and you reduce the amount being used. It also makes it um, a lot more effective to use if you're wanting to use oils like in a massage and that kind of thing. Putting it, mixing it with the carrier oil lets that work a lot better. Okay, oh, sorry, Arlen. Um, in the dirty pan that they use baking soda and some of the thieves household cleaner. And that's, that's what they did, kind of made a paste with that and then just scrubbed it and it came right out. And then you had also asked, um, oh, how many drops of oil in a five milliliter bottle? Approximately 90 drops. That's usually what I use as my average when I'm figuring out um, how, like, how much I need for recipes, that kind of thing. So 90, around 90, 80, 80 to 90 drops are of, in the five milliliter bottle. Okay, so a few other safety tips. Be wary of putting to oils topically near your eyes. Some oils like peppermint can cause a burning sensation. If you're placing the oil near the eye, apply it to a Q-tip instead of tipping the bottle towards your face. Peppermint is one that most people, especially if you're going to apply it anywhere near your face, will uh, dilute that down because it is a strong oil. You can become desensitized to an oil if you use the same one day after day. So you can try rotating what oils you use um, every three to four days just to kind of help avoid that. Um, what about internal use of essential oils? NAHA, the National Association for Holistic Aromatherapy, one of the top aromatherapy organizations in the United States does not advocate essential oils for internal use. Why? Because most companies do not carry gross or generally regarded as safe oils. Many argue that internal essential oil use is unsafe, and I would agree in some circumstances, like those that are not pure. Um, you need to make sure that you're checking the labels first. Young Living Vitality oils are approved for you internal use, just like a food additive. You have been consuming essential oils internally for most of your life. For instance, wintergreen or spearmint when you chew gum or put oregano in your pasta. NAHA bases a lot of their decisions on the British model, which advocates topical use only. Many of the British studies are flawed. For example, they're done at extremely high doses or in ways that the oils are not used. Young Living utilizes all three methods, British, French, and German. The French have been using some essential oils internally for decades. Young Living's Vitality line has distinctive white labels so that you can easily recognize which oils are safe to take internally. And we'll see those uh, more clearly as we go through. On the flip side, look at the ingredients list of what you have in your bathroom and kitchen. Every day we put products on our skin, in our body, and breathe them in, but many of these products contain damaging chemicals. The average woman applies over 300 chemicals every day to her body just through soap, makeup, shampoo, and hair care products. 80 of these products are often applied before breakfast. When you use Young Living Essential Oils, you're using a product with one ingredient, like lemon, oregano, or tangerine. There are no synthetic additives and no yep. Is this a bit overwhelming? Let me tell you how I started my journey with a Young Living Premium Starter Kit, and I've never looked back. You don't step away from toxic chemicals and then go back to them again. You'll find your chemical cleaners start to give you headaches when you're around them after, the, after you've detoxed and start stop using those products. 
That's your first step towards a chemical-free life. If you're a frugal person like me, this is a great starting place because it's half off. The cost of Panaway and frankincense are worth the value of the entire kit. That means you're basically getting 10 bottles of oil, Ningxia, Ningxia toothies products, and a diffuser for free. That is the best bang for your buck. So let's look through the oils in the kit. Usually when we do this in person, we will get to pass around the bottles so that you can smell the amazing aromas. If you are not yet a Young Living member, let me know if you would like a sample smell pack and I can get that in the mail to you. Just make sure to fill out that contact me form so I have your contact information. Okay, so let's go through and just chat a little bit about each of these oils. Frankincense is one of the top skin oils. It helps to smooth the appearance of skin. It's the key ingredient in Young Living's brain power oil. You can diffuse it during prayer time to help with grounding and purpose. And I purposely, yeah, personally love this for focusing. And it's good to put a drop on bug bites um, to, to soothe the discomfort. And next we have lavender. Lavender is the oil of relaxation. You can diffuse for a calming, soothing aroma. You can unwind by adding a few drops to a nighttime bath. This is one of the top oils to support healthy skin. It is referred to as the Swiss Army knife of essential oils because of its many uses. I love this for bruises, blisters, rashes, bug bites, and mild burns. Peppermint Vitality. So you see this, this label has the white label um, with just the color by the name. So this is a Vitality oil. Peppermint Vitality supports gastrointestinal discomfort. It promotes healthy bowel function and enhanced gut, gut function. It helps maintain the efficiency of the digestive tract. It may support performance during exercise. I call this my highway hypnosis oil because one drop will keep me alert while driving. This oil is also good for mild occasional headaches. You can apply it to the temples on your head. The good place in the back of the neck is good when you are needing some uh, support to wake up. Um, also on your chest, you can breathe it in. So you can diffuse Citrus Fresh Vitality to freshen the air. This blend is a mix of orange, tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, and mandarin oils. It is a replacement for chemical-based home fragrances. Spritz it in rooms, closets, and over linens. You can dilute it with the V6 carrier oil and use it as a perfume. It also helps to tone and smooth the appearance of skin. This is a powerful oil for immune support. I love to diffuse it when I feel off and to put 10 to 20 drops in two cups of Epsom salt and take a hot bath in it for at least 20 minutes. You will feel refreshed. Next, we have Thieves Vitality. Thieves help support a healthy respiratory system. Thieves have been proven to kill 99.9% .9 of all germs and bacteria, so that when my kids get sick, the first thing I do is get this oil in the diffuser and on their feet and spine to set up a germ-free zone. Why their feet and spine? The spine is where bundles of nerves run through your body and the feet and your hands are where, where they come out. If you put oils in those places topically, you're covering a lot of ground in the body, even if you don't know where those germs are hiding. Peace and calming. This is one of my favorite kid oils. Um, though I've been known to sneak a few drops on my hands and enjoy it as well, I use it to bring peace to the chaos in my head. It's different than stress away and that stress away is for prolonged use during the day and specifically for that sort of fight or flight stress that comes on fast. But peace and calming is more for the evening to slow your mind down. Peace and calming contains ylang ylang, orange, tangerine, patchouli, and blue tansy. And this is one that I use every night before I go to bed. Stress away promotes wellness and may be an important part of daily health regimen. It is one of the top emotional oil blends. I use stress away for the onslaught of a heavy day when I know I have a lot going on. The oil contains lime, copaiba, vanilla, and is like a massage for the senses. Many people feel that this smells like key lime pie in a bottle and they love that smell. 
Um, some people are like me and did not like it when it when I first started using it, but I do use it now every day and it smells good to me. Your body will change um, as you start using the oil. So don't be afraid if you find one that doesn't you don't really like the smell of, if you'll just try it out, your feet are a good place to put it um, until you get used to using it. Next up is Lemon Vitality. Its citrus flavor enhances the taste of food and water. It's a key ingredient in Thieves and Ningxia Red. It helps to support the immune system and it's wonderful for the liver. I love to put a few drops every day in my water. You can also use lemon to remove anything sticky. It's great too as a degreaser for dirty pots and pans. This is my favorite oil and Epsom salt in my bath. Panaway is next. You can apply this after exercise to soothe your muscles. It has a very stimulating aroma. You can apply it to the back and neck for a soothing aromatic experience. The day you get your starter kit, put this oil on your feet and see how they feel. Panaway also helps to support the appearance of healthy skin coloration. 90% of early aging isn't wrinkles, it's actually discoloration of the skin. So add some pan away to your art gentle cleaner or light moisturizer or apply topically. Pan away is also wonderful for mild occasional headaches. Digive Vitality is the top oil blend for supporting a healthy digestive system. You can add two drops along with a drop of peppermint to water for a stimulating beverage. Take it in a veggie capsule internally. You can use it with essential zyme at every meal to support a wellness regimen for the gut. I like to take this oil in a capsule, capsule if I'm having any kind of stomach problem like throwing up or being nauseous. You can also just um, rub it directly on your tummy or your feet if you have the normal Diagize label. They're actually the same oil, so it's good to do whatever you want with it. Um, okay, and then Raven. This is a cleansing blend of Raven Sera, Peppermint, and Eucalyptus Radiata. Raven creates a cooling sensation when applied topically to the chest and throat. Diffuse daily for a soothing aroma. This oil changes the game for anything breathing. And then Ningxia Red. Your kit will come with two packets of the Ningxia Red antioxidant juice in your starter kit. Don't be timid with them. They don't taste like that crazy, crunchy, cardboard, organic, non-juice yuck. They taste like a mixture of berries and lemonade and all the goodness. But the antioxidants in this little pack, wow. This juice is so good for you that there's an entire class on it in our Core 4 series, the 103 Ninja class. You do not want to miss it. Until then, chug this and enjoy every drop. Okay, of course, you get Thieves products in your starter kit. This is the oil that put Young Living on the map, and we have an entire lineup of Thieves infused products that will blow your doors off, from dish soap to laundry soap to household cleaner, even whitening toothpaste. In the kit, you get two of my favorites, a Thieves spray. I love to use this on shopping carts when I take my kids shopping, or airplane seats, or any generally disgusting place and Thieves hand sanitizer, which is the best sanitizer out there. Two of the most common hand sanitizers out there contain isopropyl alcohol, which kills good bacteria and can cause alcohol poisoning. Six teenagers in 2012 in California were poisoned after drinking hand sanitizer. They also contain toxic chemicals and hormone disruptors like um, to uh, tocopherol acetate and cross polymers, as well as fake fragrances, yuck. Thieves hand sanitizer is the safest stuff I know to use. It's made of denatured alcohol, which does not hit you like ethyl alcohol, and peppermint, clove, rosemary, cinnamon, and lemon. That is what I want my kids using. Okay, next we have Valor, which is one of the newer amazing oils that they added to the kit that is worth like so much by itself, it's amazing that they added it and they barely raised the price, like five bucks and they added two extra oils, it's amazing. Um, the final oil in the kit, one of the founder Gary Young's favorite oils is Valor. Valor contains black spruce, blue tansy, 
camphor wood, geranium, and frankincense. The valor blend was used by the ancient Romans in the bathhouses before they sent their soldiers into battle. Its smooth, relaxing scent is designed for courage and bravery. This is my fear oil. It is my place of calm. It's also very relaxing for your muscles. So it's great to use along your spine and anywhere where you're having some tightness going on. It works really well. Okay, just to recap, the kit comes with 12 bottles of oil, a diffuser. I recommend the Desert Mist. That's the one that's shown here in the picture. Two packets of Ninja Red, two of these products, and an Aroma Glide roll-on cap that can turn any bottle into an instant roll-on for $165. There is no yearly membership fee. If you don't place an order, you'll go inactive after 12 months. When you hop on Essential Rewards, you can pick out products you want to try every month as you start kicking toxic chemicals to the curb. Going chemical-free is a process that you do one step at a time. Just Panaway and Frankincense are worth nearly the value of the entire kit. That means you're getting 10 oils, a diffuser, thieves products, ninja, literature training, all of it for free. The next step is to get to the other four classes in our core four, or other three classes in our core four class series and to start swapping out dangerous chemicals in your home one at a time. So what does that look like? Check out this video of Young Living Diamond, Sarah Harnish's five kids a year after their kit arrived. We call this the scavenger hunt video. And it shows you what the inside of a toxin-free home looks like. She went cabinet to cabinet each month, picking out a different room to go chemical-free on Essential Rewards. So let's check this out.
Okay, so that's a fun video. Um, some of that was done several years back. So uh, some of the labeling and such has changed on the products, but we still have all those amazing products that they show that you can use all over your home to give you um, some safe toxin free products uh, and in your home. So I want to end this class with a challenge because I believe in training you long after this class is over. This oil thing is a lifestyle, not a single class. I'd like to invite you to accept the free cabinet challenge. Go home and look at the products that are in your home right now in any three cabinets. Pick things that you've used for years and take a look at the list of ingredients on the back of the bottle. If there's an ingredient you're not familiar with, type it into Google with the words dangers of. You'll be blown away at some of the poison lurking in your cabinet. Okay, so um, I will, normally in person, I would be handing out some little packets of freebies to you. So I would be happy to mail some things out to those of you who have not received these products before. But one of the things we have is a small little book, book, book small book called Fearless. And I'd be happy to send you a copy of that along with this Fearless Challenge calendar. So in the back of the book, there are 10 oils challenges mapped out like a scavenger hunt through your starter kit. You can put this on the fridge, fill it out by doing the challenges, and you'll learn how to get every drop of oily goodness out of your kit. You can send me a screenshot of your completed calendar for a free gift. We are an education-driven team, and we'd love to come alongside you for oily education. Fearless will take you room by room, telling you how to have a chemical-free kitchen and chemical-free cleaning closet by swapping out toxins for pure Young Living products. You can start where you're most convicted and then take baby steps to kick the chemicals out of your home. Okay, so something in this class I'm sure convicted you. Something hit you in the gut. I know that when you go home and try this, how you care for your family and clean your home will be very different. I want to come alongside you and train you and your friends and family in toxin-free living because you'll fall in love with thieves and want a chemical-free life for your mom and best friend too. My goal is for you to place your oils order free forever so that it's never a burden on your budget. If three of your friends sign up and get a kit, your starter kit in Young Living will be free. If you have five to 10 friends fall in love with a lifestyle and get on essential rewards by attending the core four classes with you, oils, thieves, ninja, and CBD, you'll get a check to place orders for your family's products. Things that you pick out every month that you want to swap out. I'm willing to come and teach your circle of friends to educate them for free to give you the blessing of oils and seed to steel products for your family. Talk to me after class if you want to learn more. Young Living was one of the best decisions that I've ever made for my family. Okay, so you might be asking, how do you order? You can simply go to youngliving.com, click on become a member, and use the number of the person who told you about oils as an enroller and sponsor. Um, for me, that my number is 145-8514, or you can use the link that's shown here on the slide, and that will automatically put in that information for you if you're wanting to sign up. You can always contact us, and we will help you get set up whenever you are ready. And if you need help getting friends that might be interested in the products too, we can help you get them started. So please make sure you fill out the contact me form so we can follow up with you and answer your questions. So we're just about done. Let's recap your aromatherapy checklist. Snag your kit, read Fearless, complete your Fearless calendar, collect all the free things for doing the challenges, Contact me and get plugged into the next Core 4 class, which will be a 102 class coming up soon. A powerful tour of a chemical-free home loaded with science and stats. We'll have an oils, um, we just had that last month. I'm, gonna, I'm working on setting up another kind of separate topic class to do in the next week or so, so I'm gonna announce that soon, as well as doing our 102, 103, and 104 classes later this month. So you have survived our Essential Oils 101. Thank you so much for the honor of your time and please stick around so that we can chat and answer your questions. So I'm going to switch to so I can see everybody more easily. And if y'all want to um, 
put your video on so we can see you. You're welcome to do that. So I know Arlen was typing in some questions here. So let me see if I can answer some of these. Okay, so you were asking about uses of peppermint. Um, peppermint, because um, there is a vitality and a regular, so there's a number of ways you can use peppermint. So peppermint vitality is very good to use for your digestive system. So you can um, put that in a capsule, you can drop it on your tongue, you can put it in your water and drink it that way. Um, it is helpful for, uh, for many people, it's helpful for, you asked about heartburn specifically, it can be helpful for that. Um, 